I want you to consider this bet. Here's $10. This could be yours. If I flip this coin in the air, you guys call it in the air. If you're right, I give you the $10. If you're wrong, you give me $10. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not a good bet for me. I guess in, in principle I don't agree with the, uh, with the idea of betting. Okay, okay, but what if we just use this as like a, an allegory for uh, life? Yep. You know, it's, yep. it's not really about money and, and betting on a coin. It's more about our approach to risk. Okay, and my approach to risk is, is obviously a lot less than yours. You wouldn't do this bet? No, no. No, I don't have 10 bucks. <laughs> my gut says don't bet. Why is that? Because at the moment I have $10 and later I might not. So people are passing up the opportunity to win $10 of my money. But it kind of makes sense because they have to risk $10 of their money and it's a 50-50 chance. So really the bet has zero value. What if I sweeten the deal? What if I put up $12 to your 10. You only stand to lose 10, you stand to gain 12. How's that sound? I wouldn't, I, I still wouldn't bet. I feel like I'm, I'm better off just leaving it as it is. I'm gonna offer you $15. You only have to put up 10, I'm putting up 15. No. I'm offering you an extra $5. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna give you my $10 away. What about 20? That's as high as I'm going today. $20, that is the top. It's two to one. I just don't like taking that much risk. You don't like risking 10 bucks? Sure. I'm $10 valuing a my lot. $10, I am. But why don't you value my $20, which you got a 50% chance of right here if you, t if you accept the bet? I don't know. I can't tell you. It's not like a, I don't know what the logical reason is for why I want that. I don't know. I can't really, I, I just feel it's not right. Now this doesn't make sense. I've offered people up to $20 and they're still refusing to take the bet. The bet is objectively in their favor. I mean, a 50% chance of winning 20 plus a 50% chance of losing 10 still gives the bet an overall value of $5. Why is it that you won't, <laughs> you won't go for this bet? I don't know, because I don't want to lose $10 just because of that, e that easily. I know, but you could win $20. Think about well, the game. I don't know. I'm thinking more about what I lose than what I win, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think that's exactly the point. Because we feel losses more than we feel gains. There's an asymmetry in the way people perceive gains and losses. Losses are felt much more intensely. In fact, psychologically, most people weight a loss around twice as heavily as a gain. But this varies from person to person. What if I go to $30? I said, even if you had 50, I would still feel the same way. $50 to $10, that would be a reasonable... That's when you would say yes. Possibly yes. You were going to have to give me like 100, <laughs> and then I lose 10. This is known as loss aversion. To avoid risking a loss, people will pass up even very favorable bets. But is there a way to overcome our oversensitivity to losses? Let me ask you this. What if... I offered to do this 10 times in a row. Same deal, $20 for your 10, flipping this coin. But then I'd be losing $10 each time, wouldn't You I? might be. You'd be risking $10 each time, but you know this is 50-50, and you know that I'm giving you 10 chances. Is that a better deal? To do yeah. it r repeatedly? I don't think so. What about 100 times? I don't it think so. It doesn't get better? No. If we played enough, and I had enough, you know, of a stake of $10, then eventually, yes, I would make more money, yes. Why does repeating the same bet change it? I don't think there's a rational thought behind it. It's just a, a feeling that one gets when presented with the opportunity. Hmm. I don't know. I think there is a rational reason behind it. Is it? Yeah. Because is... the coin is going to be 50-50. But you don't know on one toss, you're only going to get one outcome. But in a hundred tosses, you know that it's going to be somewhere between like 45 and 55 times. It's going to go your way. 45 to 50 times, 55 times it's going to go my way, right? The point is, every time it goes your way, you win twice as much as you lose when it goes my way. So the point is, doing it 100 times, you're basically guaranteed to win money. Winning. No, no, no. It's not more chances of winning. It is you are guaranteed to win money. In fact, the expected value of 100 of these bets is a win of $500. And there's only a 1 in 2,300 chance of losing any money at all. So even if you weight losses twice as much as gains, 100 bets is indisputably favorable. So here's the thing. How do you accept 100 of these bets if you won't first accept one of those bets? This experiment is not about gambling. It's not to encourage you to go to the casino where the odds are definitely stacked against you. 
Instead, it is a metaphor for all the little risks and opportunities that come our way in our lives. I mean, if you view each one as an independent event, you will often say no to even very good bets because you're afraid of the loss. So if instead you can see each little bet as one of a series of bets, then you realize that if you take that bet every time, you may win and you may lose, but overall, on the aggregate, you will come out ahead. Heads. Heads it is. He's just won himself 12 bucks. Woohoo! Tails. The 10 bucks is yours, sir. Thank you, sir. Heads. Thank you very the much. The man has won 20 bucks. <laughs> See, it pays to take the risk. Hey! Yeah! Yes! This is unbelievable. My stroke of luck today has been terrible. <laughs> Everyone's one off He's me so far. You. I'm funding myself. Okay. That's honestly my money. Really? Yeah. This video is in fact a bit of a risk for me because I'm giving out all this money and it's <laughs> only going to make money on YouTube if like half a million people see it. So if you like this video, then you should share it with your friends so that this actually turns out to be a positive bet for me. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. Share it, share it with your friends. It's Veritasium. It's the name of the website. Veritasium. Veritasium. So would you take this one-off bet? Let me know in the comments below and tell me how much money I would have to put up in order for you to risk your $10. Now this video was inspired by the book Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, which I've recommended before because it's awesome and it also inspired me to make these cool videos, so check them out if you haven't already. But since I've recommended this book before, I'm gonna recommend something different today. My friend Phil Plate's book Bad Astronomy, which is all about misconceptions and misuses of astronomy from astrology through to the moon landing hoaxes. It is an awesome book so you should definitely check it out and in fact you can download it for free by going to audible.com slash veritasium or you can pick any other book of your choosing for a one month free trial. Audible is a great audiobook website with over 150,000 titles in all areas of literature including fiction, non-fiction and periodicals. So I really want to thank Audible for supporting me and I want to thank you for watching.